um, I'm going to do a video. It's probably not going to be for everybody. Uh, it's not what I usually do, but it's something that I want to do. Uh, and that's uh, do some motor camping on the Forza. So uh, I'm going to do a, a quick little video on what, um, what I have. Uh, as far as what I have right now is cooking stuff, uh, you'll see, we'll, we'll get into what, uh, what I have on the Forza now. And there'll be a uh, section at the end of the video on what I plan on getting uh, to, uh, to go moto camping. Um, I hope that even some of the people that uh, they're not into it will enjoy it anyway. Uh, and like I said, I, I totally understand on some people not going to, uh, want to want to watch it, and that's fine. Um, but uh, I want to do it, and I enjoy uh, the moto camping. I've done it a couple of times in the States, three times to be exact, and uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm getting a little old to get up and down in and out of tents and stuff, but uh, I think it's worth it. So um, we, will, uh, we will get on uh, with the video. And uh, if you would, please uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and like the video if you like it. And we'll, uh, we'll see you in a minute. Well, to get started, um, I don't have anything in the side boxes yet, and there will also be the 90 liter bag, but what I have is this here, and some gloves and some tools. I'll take all this out of here and uh, put it up on the hood of the truck, and we'll take a look and see what we got. Be right back. Okay, so I guess uh, we'll go through this one by one. This is just a, uh, a little um, towel folds out just for cleaning up and such. Uh, this is a uh, multi-tool. <clears throat> and it's nothing uh, extravagant. It's a pretty cheap one, actually. But uh, it should work fine <coughs> for what it's for. Excuse me. We have a knife. I have actually this one for just to have. Uh, but uh, um, the one that the other knife that I have uh, is this one here. And I'm, I use this one basically for cutting for cooking and, uh, and that type of thing. It is a bush, bushcraft type. Then I have a uh, socket set. And this is all was in the top bag. I have a open end wrench set, a screwdriver set, a couple of lineman's pliers, needle nose pliers, couple of extra screwdrivers, a set of gloves, a tire repair kit, and a tire air pump. And I've used this and it works, uh, it works quite well. I have um, a stove. Mm. I have a couple of flashlights also. This right here, we'll do the, the um, cooking cooking stuff uh, here in a minute. This is a starter pack uh, with jumper cables. This works quite well too. And I have a roll of electrical tape and duct tape. That's a must. I have a spare burner 
as far as uh, I'm sure that you've probably seen these before they just uh, slide around his arms come out and uh, they screw on to the little propane deals and uh, it has a starter here and gas here and this is a this one's better than the little one that I actually have in the uh, in the uh, <clears throat> in the kit I have a smaller one in there because it fits in there and keep this one separate and this is the oh <laughs> And this is the uh, the cook kit. There's this has a little spoon and a lighter. I also have a cup, and you can heat water in this or whatever you want to. It has a little ladle and the actual propane uh, jug in it. And a little sponge to clean it with. A, this holds the propane to keep it from Falling over, it holds the different sizes, small one to the big one. Keeps it a lot more stable. Um, keeps it from having a tendency to fold over. I have two of these, and basically a spoon, knife, and fork set. And uh, it works pretty good. There's two of these in here. They do split apart so that you can use them separately. Two of those, and then this is the small, the small burner, and um, it works okay. It works as well as the other one. Um, some of the stuff that I'm going to show you in just a uh, little while is um, the stuff that I'm planning on getting, but it's basically the same except that you do have to light it. Uh, it's the only difference. Quite small and light. And that's uh, pretty much it on that. I do have a little shovel, um, but I haven't put that in here yet. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much everything that I have so far. You've seen the the ice chest that's in there and that'll hold at least three or four bottles of water and some ice and if i do say take some food uh camping um it will also uh obviously handle that and um i think that's pretty much it the shovel the stuff that i'm going to show after the uh, at the end of the video is the stuff like i said that i'm going to uh order in little batches um the weather's starting to cool down here in Sarin, so uh, I'm hoping October, probably November. Um, hopefully, I'll have everything, and I can do a uh, trip to a local campsite here, and um, and do a moto camping video. So anyway, I'm gonna put this stuff back and uh, go up and put the video to get together, and uh, we'll put it out. I'm gonna thank everybody again for uh, for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. So here's uh, some of the stuff that I plan on adding to or I actually need for the camping. I think you almost have to have a good foldable saw to collect uh, any kind of firewood or cut anything out of the way. It's uh, definitely handy to have. Um, you also need a fairly good uh, axe of some sort. And I've gotten these right off of Lasada. You can get any one that you want actually it doesn't have to be this uh, particular brand or whatever i just like the way that it looked it looked like it might be fairly durable and uh, i don't know how it holds an edge or anything but we'll find out i'll be ordering uh, this stuff soon 
Then I think I'm going to get two of these tables that are coming up. They're fairly small. Um, they're three different sizes. And uh, I know they'll fit in the 90 liter bag or maybe in the side boxes. I don't know. But they're real easy to put up. They're fairly sturdy. Um, this is the same exact uh, tables that I have in, in the U.S. that I used. And they seem to work really good. I use them mostly for cooking or anything. They, they're metal, um, and like I said, they, they hold up. They're also going to need a decent tarp. This one I liked because it came with the um, with the poles and everything that you need to set it up. I know this picture is kind of cruddy, but that's uh, the only one I could get off there. And a uh, decent little pillow you can get. They have many, many different kinds. You can find one. I like this one uh, because it's small, uh, so I'll try it. And if not, then I'll get another one. Um, and then a tent or whatever, you know, whatever clicks your fancy. Um, I like ones that have a vestibule out front. Um, and uh, yeah, But you can get pretty much anything you want. I would suggest you definitely get at least a two-man. I like a three-man. And I'm going to get a couple of these packs of these extra steaks. Usually the ones that come with them are cheap. And a halfway decent uh, mat. You know, air mattress to to lay on. This one seemed nice. I'll I'll try it. It's a little small, but uh, it's like three and a half inches, I think, or something. So it should be fairly comfortable. It slides right inside the inside the tent. So I'll try that one. And then I'm going to get a this little um, set of uh, uh, cutting board knife, um, that kind of stuff. I'm going to get. I like the way this one looked. It was fairly reasonable too. I don't know what kind of quality it is. Might be able to use once and throw it away. And then if you want to, um, besides the propane cooking that I showed you, you can get something like this um, and use wood or whatever. They fold down really small. I'll probably have both. And on the grill uh, side of it, uh, they have this type too, which you can put your burner under, um, depending on what kind of burner you get, or you can put it over a over a flame, and it, it folds down fairly small also. So uh, I'll probably, depending on the size, I don't know, I'm probably going to get way too much stuff, more than I need. Um, and definitely i got to get a USB fan. I had the same fan uh, in the U.S., and it worked really well. Went all night on, uh, on low, and then I have my USB battery packs and stuff too, but it worked great. I have to have a fan. And some kind of a light that you can hang in the tent or set on a table. I like this one because it's a USB charge and you can also, I believe, use it as a battery pack in case you run yours dry or, or something. I think you can still uh, still charge something off of it. And a bag for water. Um, once you get to your wherever you're going to camp at, uh, you can you know either use a water purifier or something to that uh, deal. I didn't put the water purifier in here, but I would definitely suggest getting one of those too. And these uh, water bags here I used, um, they collapse down small. And you can use them to either carry water. Uh, I used them for washing uh, washing up the pots and pans, whatever I cooked in, and my plate or whatever. Uh, I used it for that, but you could use it for pretty much anything. And these seem to work okay. And I think uh, that's about it. And thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day. Please subscribe if you haven't, and like if you like. Thank you.